bit more control and he's throwing knees up the middle Five, of the, of the body. body. Four, now have a much bigger impact than the knees. That's oh, hurt. That body kick that there, that body, big. the knee to the body there. This could be good for the oh, end. Oh, it's over. What a finish. Wow. I, I think, to be fair, the ref probably could have stopped the fight when the knee landed. Because at that moment, the knee landed, he stopped defending himself. Uh, obviously, you've got to give him a chance to recover. He didn't recover. Excellent finish there from uh, Jacob McKay. Very explosive. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, the first one was really hard. The, the next couple of knees kind of hit the wrists, but then the, the power that went through on the last few. Yeah. Jacob McCabe! Well, why not? I mean, you could just ride the position, do damage, and, you know, these are short rounds, really. They're not like your five-minute rounds. It's worked for the real length of choke now. And it, yeah, and if you throw enough strikes and a day isn't moving, the referee's going to step in and stop the fight with that. You know, there's that term intelligence defense is what you're looking for. He's got the arm under the neck there. He's got that on now. He needs to fight that backhand. That is on. That is on tight. I think this is going to be the end. I think he's going to go out. Oh. And he taps. Dominant. Nice finish there for Oscar Ferriduni. Dominant from Ferriduni. Um, unfortunately, they couldn't do much. Ferriduni! Excellent. Yes. We don't have one knee in the least like we do in the K1 fight. Nice I'm pleased to know. A little bit of a mark there on Tino's nose. Oh, nice little cut there. Bob is very good when he's up against the cage. He's throwing to the back to it. Oh, oh wow, that's him good. That's the end of the fight. He's out. Wow. Wow, what a knockout that was. Come out of nowhere. Just big, big uppercut. Big uppercut it was. But he, he was out from the uppercut. No, none of the punches were needed after that. But unfortunately, the, the referee was a bit slow to get to that to stop the fight, and he took probably too many shots from what he needed to. But it was so quick there, I mean. He was out from the uppercut. He was out from the uppercut. You'll see it when they, they play it back, you'll see he was out from the uppercut. Oh, no, I don't disagree, but it all, the ending happened very quickly, I think. Yeah, it come out of nowhere, but. Sino Sabzalihe! I liked Adam's nickname as well, Adam End Game, and it's a great, great nickname. Certainly feels at the minute the early signs are that Perrin's good with the leg kicks and James very explosive with his hand. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh. We've just seen a spinning back fist out of nowhere from Will Perrin. Wow. I didn't, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, that was unbelievable. Can we, can we see the replay? I'm sorry that knocked your arm. <laughs> no, I, no, I did no. not see that coming. That was insane. <laughs> the, I mean, the absolute timing on that. Wow! I mean, wow! Let's watch it again on the replay. I might be able to talk. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing. 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 Really Amazing. Well. It reminded me of Shoni Carter and Matt Serra. Now, that, oh, yeah, you all yeah, yeah, know yeah. we talked about it at the yeah. start of the show, but it was that kind of timing. He just set it up. He fakes. If you look, he fakes a jab and it comes out of nowhere. Bang, bang. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. What a finish. You talk about a highlight reel. We've got a highlight reel there. Wow. Well, the Pitbull Just Look at both the guys. You've got, looks like Saunders has got a bit of a height advantage, doesn't he? No, oh, what a big kick. That, oh, it's over. It's oh. done. Big body kick. And then Saunders, Archie Scott comes in with a big right and drops him. And what that, I don't know what the fastest knockout is in, in uh, shock and all history, but that must have been about three or four seconds. I think that's it. That was amazing. That's history for you then. We've got a record, we'll get it confirmed obviously, but it looks like Archie Scott has just got the fastest knockout in the history of shock and all. Archie Scott!